set up now with the cross check. This is our first big journey with this canoe on this car. Oh, the color matching. Maybe not the best. Maybe we should have picked a different color for the canoe or the car, but you know. Yeah, you never know how these things are gonna go to that. But we'll we'll see how she rolls. Alrighty, another off to another trip. We're heading to Red Lake, Ontario. Dead into Woodland Caribou Provincial Park. Yep. Here we go. We got the dog. He's looking much more spacious in this car than the Civic. <laughs> so we'll see we'll see how that goes. So the puppy's not in the wheel well, so yeah, that's he's not, yeah, he's not yeah, he's not yeah, yeah. He's got a lot more room. We got a lot of room. It's pretty comfortable. So see how it goes. We will see you in Red Lake. See ya. Getting ready to go out. Here we go. Here we go. Isn't it? Yeah, the boat on there. But... You got us out there, right? Officially in the wilderness now. It'll be a few minutes, but ah, there we go. There goes our plane. Okay, so we went to a little island when we first got dropped off. A really cute little island, but I think we're gonna keep looking. And I don't know if you can see it back there. There's Paul, the dog. Anyway, we're leaving the island and we're gonna go look for some stuff in the non-burn. We've got all day, it's really nice. Here we are, we got found our campsite. And we've set up, first day, we're in a hole. Um, but how long did we paddle for, Zoe? How long did we paddle for? You figure. Not quite even an hour, so we're gonna head out there and do some fishing and check out some sites. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'll show you the campsite later. You cool or something? Anyway, we're gonna wander over here. Right. Check out the portage. Can I do no? Do you want to? Please. Yeah, absolutely. Let's try this again. There's Leo. I can already hear the falls. So there's the portage start.
there's a whole pile of babies. Oh, look at that. That's a deer. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's really cool. The little hand prints. And the hand prints, right? Yeah. Here. Well, we found our first beach. It's so lovely. It goes all the way down there. I'm gonna go for an explore. Okay. Let you know if it's really exciting. So his first open lake swim in Woodland Caribou. I'm training for a triathlon. And we'll just keep watching her. Yeah, she does. How'd it go? Uh, open water is uh, a mess on your mind. <laughs> but I did it. Woohoo! 476 meters. Yeah. Good. All right. It's a little early. It's quarter after four. But we're hungry, so we're having dinner. Hi, buddy. Are the bugs bugging you? He was chasing squirrels earlier today. That's so exciting. Tonight's dinner is... I'm having some spaghetti. Spaghetti. A little stir. Maybe add a little bit more water to that. And cheese. It's delicious. Here we are. Yeah, that was day one. Day one complete. Had dinner. Makes an excellent uh, spaghetti. Pass this one. Yeah. Good. Good flight in. I could give you a walk through our first site for the night. It's been a beautiful site. That's our view right at the moment. So, no burn. It's really pretty. Super excited. All right, so there's the canoe. It's packed up nicely. We have the bug tent up here. Paul is currently napping with Leo in it.
This is where we ate dinner, spaghetti dinner, and we actually hung out on this little walk here. It was really pretty. Nice. A little bit windy. Not too bad. There's a, another little path that you can go down. As it kind of ends over here. This is definitely the leeward side. It's a bit cooler over here, which is nice. The bugs aren't super bad. Mostly just horse flies that are irritating. Go find our tent. And this is where we're going to spend the night. Oh, here comes Leopold. Lovely little socked in space here. That's where we're going. We'll see you in the morning. A little bit of a walk, or after a little bit of a canoe, we'll paddle for maybe an hour or two and then stop at a nice space to have breakfast. So we've torn everything down so far. It is 20 to eight this morning and yeah, we're ready, almost ready to go. We'll head out on the water. Looking forward to a nice day, it's supposed to be nice. One of us is not ready to go yet. Well, how's that looking? I don't know. I, can, I don't know if it can show me or what it's showing. What it looks like it's my face covered in sunscreen. <laughs> Could be. Doesn't matter. There's like very few people out here to see it. And then I guess I am recording. I guess I should think more of the production value, eh? I have trouble seeing the glass because that's where the light is. Yeah. Okay. Now we're just leaving on our day two, our first actual traveling day, although we did a lot of paddling yesterday. It was good to see those pictographs. Pictographs were very cool. We're gonna go look at some more today. So check that out. Yeah. It's just, yeah, beautiful day. No rain in the forecast for the next couple of days. High 25, a little haze in the air. Either that or my glasses are really dirty. Dog had knocked them off. Bent the, bent the frames, I had to bend them back and just screw them together with a you know, fishing tackle knife. You know? Panicked airplane. Yeah, it's pa panicked airplane with this one. I, I, I had, I was, well, we'll see what the recording looks like for that. Anyway, so we'll, uh, if anything exciting comes up, we'll record it. Heading down to the pictographs, we're pretty sure they're on those cliffs there. Excited to see what's uh, going on. Detour to get there, you know, that doesn't always get Back up a bit. Yeah, we need to go back. So there's, we found some pictographs. There's not very much of the site, just a little bit. There's, it looks like, I don't know, maybe antler, I don't know. I found a little bit more. Hang on. We'll do this in a minute. It's all good. It's fine, it'll be fine. So just around the corner here, looks like they've done like spiky little spines. Like a plant or something. I don't know. People in a boat maybe. That could be. I don't know. It's pretty. Anyway, this is what we came down for. All the way down here. And like this. Which is really pretty. Alright, we'll get paddling again. I can't see. Okay, 
okay, we're just coming up to our first portage. We just gotta find it. We'll be up here on the left somewhere. Side up here somewhere. Yeah. Those blazes there? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like this is trampled too, right? Yeah. I don't know which way to go. your canoe falling. Okay. Hey. Alright, you got Leo. Leo, come here. Come Well, that was interesting. <laughs> we just did that uh, portage twice and went back to the first portage <laughs> to get my water bottle. It fell out of my pocket on the first portage. Didn't realize it until we ate something here and I wanted to drink water. And uh, yeah, that happens. So I'm gonna put you guys. It was a good little walk. I ran it. So there you go. I got my running in for the day. Okay. See you guys. GoPro. Oh, there you go. We got this channel between. I don't know if we're in in, in Glen Lake yet, but there's a channel between the two of them, and then there's some rapids at the end that we portage across. But it's uh, it's always nice to change 
from the from the lake paddling to the to channel paddling. You know? Yeah. It should probably be quiet for here. Okay. This might be wildlife, right? Okay, we're turning turn it off. We'll turn it on if we see something. little paddle just came in here and this is what we're going around so six, six, six meters we're going to continue lovely I think we'll fish here a little bit we'll see how it goes Here I am, it's the big bag. Paul's gonna do a little bit of fishing over here. Leo's doing some swimming. And this is what the little, the small hike is for us today. This is not a bad one. Go on, buddy. A nice little trail. It's very easy to find. It's clear. And it's done. That was it. That is the best of everything. Nice little cairn. I'll go take some photos of the falls. literally how far we walked. But can't go through it. Let's try this again. Ooh. little things. Bye-bye, buddy. Thank you. This is very reminiscent of what we got on Adventure Creek to, to Haven. But we got this nice dodgy put in. And then straight into the burn. But it's marked and it should be cleared. Yeah. Let's we'll see what happens. Park yeah. service was here, so much nicer than yeah. before. <laughs> and our lake, and see, no burn here. No burn. Whew. Yeah, that was our sixth and final portage. Glad it's done. You know, it's. Uh, I think that's about all I got in me for for the days paddling and stuff. The portage. None of them were long, but I don't. I don't think it's the the length of the portage. It's the in and out of the boat. Yeah. Just yeah. hoisting the yeah. equipment. You know, lifting each bag and the barrel and everything up and out and put it back in and trying to do it in a controlled manner. Lifting it onto your wife's back. Yeah, you know, waiting there for her. You know, it takes forever to get there. You know, but hey, what can you do? Bring me my mat. 
<laughs> I just turned this on. You're my map. Caterwauling at me. <laughs> Woman, give me the map. So, so we're, uh, so we're we didn't, uh, we didn't record our food. We had, what do we have? Uh, curry. Uh, curry. Curry and rice for dinner. Oh, they're so good. And some nan. Leo had rice and nan. This is our setup for the day. So that's where our dock is, way down there. And we have a nice little tent pad. Hopefully it's not too askew. And this is where we cooked and this is where we've been sleeping for literally the last four hours. And this is where we went swimming, which was lovely. Water is beautiful. So I had a nice little swim. And this, I thought I'd walk you over here because the sunset is absolutely lovely. So. so it's over the burn, which is kind of stark, but it sure is pretty. Dramatic difference. Here we are. We're going to spend the night here and the day tomorrow. We're going to go check out. There's a beach there. And then there's a couple of beaches over around the side. I think maybe I'll swim to one. Paul will paddle to it and play around and swim on the beach. Just have a nice relaxing day because we don't really have anywhere to go. So nice. Happy place. Night. Good morning. It is 20 to 9 on Monday morning. It's a beautiful day. It's already getting warm. We are on our second tea coffee. We have very lazy plans for the day today. We're going to probably go for a swim. There's a couple of beaches we want to check out. So there's a beach down there that I think I might try to swim to. We'll see. And uh, yeah, we'll toodle around. There's a beach over there that might be fun to check out. It's a lovely day. Look at all that burn. Whew. And then this side, nothing. It's amazing. All right, I'll turn you on again when we're exploring. Hello. Hello, we are at our campsite. Campsite back there. You can kind of see the tarp. Here's our refrigerator for the evening or for the morning. And we're going to walk over to that beach there, if we can get there, and see uh, see what we can see as our breakfast is uh, as our breakfast rehydrating. rehydrating. That's it. And a little breakfast adventure. Well, we stayed on the rock, and then Zoe fell in the water, so we're walking in the water, which is actually a hell of a lot easier than the. And, and being on that rip rat. The water is beautiful. So this is a beach attached to our campsite. That. That, looks like leech. that looks like leech land for sure. Surprised <laughs> not to see you. Oh my god, this is. Oh, yeah. Why weren't we like bringing the chairs? This, this is true, this is true beach, like, like, I wonder if that's why this was five star campsite. And the Paddle Planner has our campsite as a five star, but it's very basic, it's not, but this certainly brings it up a few notches. And I don't see any leeches in the, cool.
Oh, we left. Oh, we got some, yeah, we got some, we got some boot prints. Somebody's been down here. So, so we, we need to get up way earlier in the morning to see this. Yeah, probably, eh? You know? But it, it's crazy how clear the water is. You know? Like... Like a woodland caribou? As if we were in Woodland Caribou Provincial Park? <laughs> yeah, like, hopefully this shows. Look how clear that water was. Yeah, these are big that's things, a, right? That's a really big animal. Crazy. Just kind of walked along the edge here. And when would that have been? Yesterday? It hasn't rained for a while. Could have been, could have been a while back. Okay. So Monday night? I think so. Some up. So we're making chili for dinner. Dehydrated, homemade dehydrated chili. Mm -hmm. With some Nan calzones? Cheese? Not calzones, just Nan oh, bread. So, yeah. And then some cheese. Our cheese is doing okay. You know? We we put it in that bag in the water. So it's doing okay, but it has separated quite a bit, so we'll have to like a scoop full of cheese yeah, as opposed to you a know, half you full of cheese. Mix it in and you know it should be fine. You'll you know? Yeah, so we need to heat it up. It's sitting there rehydrating. I see it. I'm not getting that. You want me to get up? You gotta bring it here. Yeah. Chili. Looks like chili. Looks like chili. Yummy. <laughs> that, oh boy. It's Tuesday morning. It's about three minutes after six. It's a moving day today, so we're up early and we're going to make a little bit of coffee and pack up and head out. It's supposed to rain this afternoon around two-ish, so if we could be settled again by two, that'd be awesome. And then we don't get rain on. And yeah, the day looks beautiful. It's a little bit chillier than yesterday, but really beautiful out. So, good morning. Day four, travel day. It's a smoky day out. Yeah. It's supposed to have rain around two ish. Chilly, not bad though. See if we can see from the front. I don't know if you can tell or not how smoky it is. It's very smoky today. Wondering if that'll lift a little bit as the day progresses. Okay, we're on our way. We're coming up on our first portage of the day. This is a beautiful little waterfall. Gem right here. Yeah. Yeah, look at that, eh? Alright, I'll take pictures as we get closer. This is really pretty. Bridge building. <laughs> don't step on the little Shut loose it. stuff. Shut it. Do you need some advice? I don't want to. Do you want me to mansplain some of this to you? Yeah. Use your little five fingers and, and wrap your toes around the stick, huh? Don't do that. Don't. You're wasting. Oh! You did that just out of spite? Yep. Wow. 
Good job, and good thing you didn't fall because I was recording. Yeah, I knew you were. Yeah. Okay, this is our first portage. Just want to video it. It's really one of the most spectacular portages. The longest. Yeah. I can't remember. Three twenty-five. Three something. Yeah. But it's it's like one extreme to the other. And it's like it's well used, but rugged still. Yeah. Okay, I'll just, this is not going to be fast. You, see, well, you know you're not in the white shell. Yeah, you don't have to do this shit in the white shell. Oop, there we go. Not graceful, but done. I did the same thing on the way back. Okay. Catch you, and I'm like, oh, hit this place. Thank <laughs> God nobody saw it. It like a, so this is like... 50 year old man flailing in <laughs> This is probably like a 2006 burn because the trees are definitely burnt. So mm -hmm. got that desolate look a little bit. But then the there's trees, trees that are, you know, head high, five foot high trees. And then over here to our left. Birches. Yeah, like those have a few years on them. Yeah. Yeah, like this one. You know how I know that's a birch? Because, because of the way, of the way it is. is. But then over to the left here, there's this lovely little dry creek bed. Here, I'll get a little Which bit closer. It probably be full of water. Like if it's pissing rain right now, there might be water in there. Yeah, like... Oh, this is it's... Just... Like it's really spectacular. Okay. And then... You walk through this little stand of... Are they pine? Because they have, or they, tell me what they are. They look like longer needles. I think they're pine. And they have twos in them. Yeah, fine. Look at me looking to the right. Yeah, then we used to go through this big burn area. I'm sorry to whoever's watching this. This is going to be a long one, but. Well, we're going to have to out. Uh, -uh. Or we'll just leave it all in whenever. Anyway. Leo is in his happy place. Like lots of, lots of. Hmm, yeah. Like if you look, it's crazy. Above the trees, it's all burn. But this is very pretty. Let me go through a little bit of a marshy area, just at the end of this. And I gotta say, I hope I'm not jinxing it, the bugs are almost non-existent. We haven't put any bug dope on at all yet this year. The mosquitoes are around in the evening, but really, it's been fantastic. So here we get like these lovely little two-tone little lichen or I don't even know what that is. Look, look at these beautiful little flowers. It's so cool. Yeah, if it was wet, this would be quite quite a wet walk. This little part. And then we kind of pull out of that into this forested. this gorgeous forest area because there's clearly not really burn here and now we're at the waterfall This 
is absolutely spectacular. This is hard for me. Why? We need to portage. No, we're, we are portaging, just slowly. No, we need to finish portaging. Like, and that's a, that's a campsite at the bottom. You're taking your break for beauty. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll get down to the bottom of the portage. <laughs> Begrudgingly. Such a curmudgeon. Yeah, so it's it's, it's an over the top. You know, it's no short distance. By the time all is said and done, we'll have done almost a kilometer. But Big animal poop. Moose, caribou, no. And then into the top we stand. Yeah, that was our first portage of the day. I'm hard pressed to do much better than that. Even though it's a long one, it's the first one, so. That's all right. We'll get the hard one done because it is the longest of the day. Bye-bye, yeah. Mexican hat. <laughs> trying to get smart and do like a little poopy dupe with my foot. Because you're on camera? Yes. A lot of pressure being on camera. Ta da! <laughs> We've done, what is that? How many is that now? Four? Three of six to get into Jake Lake. Yeah. Run this interesting old burn regrowth situation. There's not a lot of paddling in between portages. Portages have been pretty short, really nothing to show, but it's just very interesting, this, this burn and regrowth stuff, really cool. So this was an adventurous portage. Uh, the boat tried to escape and floated away. So your dad had to, or your dad, Paul, had to jump in and get himself all settled. And then I threw him a paddle and then he had to paddle back. Otherwise the boat was gone and then we'd just be stuck here. So kudos to Paul. Yay for saving the boat and getting all wet. Yay. Anyway, that was an adventure. GoPro. We're live. So so that, was, that was our what? sixth portage to get pretty, out to Jake Lake. Pretty dinky, 90, 90 meters it said. Yeah. Although the one before was 60 and it was 90 also. <laughs> but I wonder if that one's changed because of that. It looked like it, there was that second one we went by where we thought our gear was. Right, right. Okay. Uh, we're going to come through a little narrowing here. It's an island on the left. Yeah very narrow. We're going to have to work our way through it. And then we'll come out and paddle down and have lunch on East Lake or on Lake Lunch. Lunch Lake. Lunch Lake.
Figured that's where you should have lunch if they're going to call the lake after. I think we're going to go right through the middle here. Okay. But it looks like there's lots of trees, so we'll go slow. Okay. I'll leave the GoPro on in case we come. Yeah. So if this were to, if we were to dump, this would be the perfect place to do it. Alrighty. Well, we just had to wade through that. That was perfect grow pro and stuff. <laughs> we didn't do it. So you get the last bit. So you get the last bit. So Hang on, hang on. Okay. That's all we had to do. That's Lunch Lake. And the reason for the port dog. Yeah, understandable. 200 meter port dog. Fun stuff. This was port dog number uh, eight for us today. It's pretty good. Well marked, well trampled. Oh, really up here, y'all. Crazy. It's crazy the, the beauty you find out here. Just sitting on the edge of this trail on this portage. Just these gorgeous flowers. You know, overlooking this rock. And I'm sure during high flow, spring flow, it just must be amazing to, to see. Yeah. This park is incredible. So cool. We're heading into East Lunch from lunch. Where we had lunch. Where we had lunch. We got to have lunch and lunch lake. We're coming to another obstruction, I think. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I have to walk it. I don't see any portage on that side, eh? Nope. There's water beyond it. Yep. It's a slope. You can get through it. This beautiful calm in here. Just enough wind to keep the bugs off here. Keep it cool. If we go slow, we might be able to do it. Your white water paddle. Oh, oh yeah, I see it. Oh yeah, we're good. I'm pretty sure we can do this. It's slow. Stay left after this rock, I think. No, you stay. You stay. Lay down. Down. You want me to walk it too? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, you're gonna have to stay. It takes a couple hundred pounds. Leo, Leo, lay down. Can you get, can you get some closer? Hang on, don't push it. Don't push it. Don't push it, I said.
Oh, a nice flat rock. No, nope. that's not good. Potage coming up to and we have lily pads and we'll see what it's like on the other side. And Zoe's, been, and lying. And Zoe's been using a bad language. <laughs> yep. They were talking C word bad. Nope. C word. Have no proof. Okay. <sighs> that was nine potages in one day. That's the most we've ever done. We're both pretty tired. So we're going to start looking for a campsite. It is exactly 1.30. And it's beautiful. What a beautiful day. I don't see any rain yet. So Forecast was for 70% chance for zero inches at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. So yeah, we're 70% chance of zero right, right at the moment. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you at the campsite. So it's the night of the fourth day of our trip. This is half of our view. We are on Eath Lake Lunch. It's really pretty. I think I say that a lot. Oh well. I got sprinkled on a couple of times. I'll show you our campsite just so everybody can see where we're at. Maybe take you for a little walk. We have a nice little secluded spot for the camper here. We had to jimmy up lots of ties for the no bug zone because it's really windy. Hang on! Although it seems to have died down a little bit now. There is where we're headed. I think we're going to go tomorrow. We're going to wait to spend a day here, but it's not that lovely of a campsite. It's nice, but there's no swimming. I'm videoing. So, Paul's thrown a couple of shots out there for fish, but no such luck. Get the man. Look at the dad. Go get him. We've all had a nap. We've eaten man calzones for dinner. And had snacks. There's the dad. Hello, dad. It's very pretty out there. Is it good? Roll it What's that? Tempe. Oh, look at that. Tarp up here. Huh. That's a very pretty view out there. Yeah, we should say we're gonna put the tarp. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, it is what it is. Day four. Hey. <laughs> Very top of where we're camping today. That's where we're going tomorrow. All right, we're going back down to sit back down again. Some busy little beavers chopping away. Hey, we're starting day five. We decided to not stay. We want to go to Bunny Lake. 
Today we're not through the distance because I have conflicting reports. <laughs> so we're like, so we're traveling two days in a row. Yeah, it feels good. And I was tired yesterday, but that was a long day. That was a long day, but it's still a pretty good attitude here, you know. Okay, we just gotta shift some weight here. The barrel goes back and forth to, to balance the boat. So I, don't, I don't think I did any anything good trying to balance it. Right? This is a lovely sight, but it's just not what we want to spend a day. For what? No, it was very, very, very uh, sloped. Beautiful though, like, and the whole forest around it was moss covered floor. How are we doing here? We just got a little paddle here, kilometer paddle, and a, I think we got, what did I say, four portages? Like, three actual portages and then a, a, a lift around to walk around. So, I think, I think it's like six and a half K, seven K. But we'll see. How it goes. Turn it to front. See where we're going. Very pretty. Very pretty. Very pretty. Yeah. Whole okay. different view. Very different view. We got a beaver lot. There's been a lot of beaver sign on this lake. But not necessarily. We haven't seen any beavers, haven't heard them, no tail slaps or nothing, so. I wonder if the, you took the dam out, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? We're at the end of East Lynch Lake. Oh, we had to call, we had to carry across another obstruction. You know, you see our blaze ahead and our path. And we have an 80 meter portage. First of the day. So with the map that shows this creek as being canoeable. But we're worried about the low water. But we're gonna try it. So far so good. So far just coming down here has been great. Yeah, yeah, it's worth the trip just to something different, right? It should be quiet. Maybe you'll see a moose on the side. Okay. Easier than a pork dog? Super kind of hard. What's that? Super kind of hard. Put it down. I can put it out. Yep. 
get in. I can't. Oh. I can't go further. <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to work well. You just have to kind of commit. <laughs> no, otherwise I was out of bed. There. Or just a pile of rail. Looks like a car. Yeah, huh? like so what do you want to do here? just to like get in the front and just pull myself over to the dam. What do you think? You can walk. And then you can just meet me there and we'll suitcase it over. What do you think? That's how we took out. Four bags? You're gonna meet us there, Leo? Can I get in? Yeah, three fishing things. One, two, four bags. Good. 
Amin, amin. Amin. Where we start now? We good? Yep. Good? Yep. Great. Would you like to go down now? No name. There's a bunch of pits and bays. You need to stay right in the middle. I'm surprised there isn't a portage around it. I guess it depends on the what if there was a lot more water. It would be much easier. You probably missed two of those beaver dams. South, so we'll we'll see a big bay to the right, and then we know to go left. Well, it's just right here. It goes left here. Yeah. So the port is just on a tip, or on an inlet down in there. Down there. Oh no, it keeps going. So this isn't the opening to the left. Because we'll be at the end of the lake. Oh. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're we're one bay back. Okay, I know where we are. 30, 30. That looks like it could be a campsite there. Yeah, no kidding, eh? It's as right. if there's that pad, right? Like a walking path, though? I think there's a blaze right here, an old one. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a couple of blazes there, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this has that look of landing, right? Like there's no moss on the rock. Yeah. What's that? You good there? What, what do you want to do? He's getting out, he's getting out. Finding portages like as if we freaking knew what we were doing. Oh. This would be good to flip this up, get this water out of here. Eh? Found some unknown lake between an unknown lake and Bunny. I don't know the name. These might. I think this one might have a name. 
Interesting paddle today. A lot of stuff we've never seen before. We've got some beaver dams. I wonder if we got some of that recorded, but I know we're terrible at that. I just start thinking beaver dam and ramming speed and it's a little Stonehenge. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, we're on Bunny now. Hello, Bunny. We got another couple, of, maybe a couple of canoe canoe in here. This is our lake for the night and tomorrow. Thir this afternoon? It's a Thir lovely day. Thursday was the call for rain, so um, we'll, be, we'll be set up and be good. Ooh. I'm gonna, and then tomorrow we have to switch on to 50 pounds. Woohoo! This has been an absolutely amazing trip. Yes, it has been. Very grateful to do this, to be able to do this. You got the health to do it, the desire. It's tough, like there's tough parts of it. I think we can't handle though. The worst part is just being dirty all the time. <laughs> hate that. Just hate that. We can switch it. Oh yeah, uh, we will. Uh, yeah, come on. Okay. Right, see you at the campsite. Seen in their bug tent. Wine. Leo. He's like, I'm putting up the bug tent. We didn't have it up initially. It was too windy. It was way too windy. But we had the whole tent. I don't know if you can see the we had extra tie downs on the tent. There are like 30 cords out there right yeah. at the moment. You see, see? Mirrors are sleeping. Over there? We'll show you more. We'll take a walk around tomorrow. Later. We got the possible some some uh, thunder going on in the distance, and the the Garmin weather says there's a possibility of lightning, but Garmin weather is terrible. I gotta find a better way to figure that stuff out. So it's always been wrong on the positive side. So yeah, yeah, it called I'd for. I take that. <laughs> it's calling for rain all day today. It hasn't rained it at all. So yeah. Who knows? Sitting in the bug tent <laughs> for the second time. Take two. Take two. <laughs> Checking out the weather. It looks a little darker when you're in here. But we were just sitting here. Uh, the wind was coming right this way, raging in this direction. White caps all over the lake. Couldn't After put we, the tent up. It was uh, crazy. We couldn't put the this tarp up. We couldn't put this tarp up. We put the the smaller tarp up just in case it rained. Uh, and then the wind died completely, and then about 15 minutes ago, it just shifted totally to come from the north. We had everything battened down from the, the south wind, and we had to like jump up and batten it down from the north, but it's like calmed down a lot now. So we're just seeing what happens with the weather. Saw a little bit of lightning, yeah. one, kind of, one flash of lightning. Thunder seems south of us now again. Yeah, lots of thunder we're hearing. Yeah. Same about being outside. It's got no inside to go to. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going <laughs> to happen. <laughs> we'll let you know. <laughs> yeah. What I should do is go clip it to a tree out there so Ooh. it doesn't see the screen. But that, I'd have to get up. <laughs> you have to pick a tree first. And there's nothing really I see now. Not really. Well, it's raining much harder now. Yep. But, uh, the are good for us. Yeah, it's, we're not getting wet at all. Sounds at all. lovely, smells like rain. Sky looks actually clearer than it did before. Yeah. But we're getting rain. 
Leo's sleeping, he doesn't even notice. Yeah, he's staying dry. He's not getting wet. Mm -hmm. fun? It's a nice evening. <laughs> so it close. It is... Ooh, 25 after 9. Look at us staying up. <laughs> <laughs> so... We decided to hop in the bed. Hunker down. Hunker down. Uh, it didn't look like it was going to slow down any. So we're just like, ah, I think I'd just rather be in bed now. And, you know, and prefers it. It's showing off your coochie there, girl. <laughs> my hip. Hey. It's my hip. So, see how it goes. Thundering like crazy. Well, this is the aftermath of all that rain. Uh, not much. Mm -hmm. Or it's like super calm now. The forecast is basically for rain all day today. But the forecast, we forecast being what it is, um, <laughs> like we actually have some blue sky. And very calm water. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. I should probably be fishing. Welcome to my morning show. <laughs> From Woodland Caribou Provincial Park. My name's Paul. My name's Zoe. Uh, you're Paul. This is the channel's name after. Cool. <laughs> beauty, eh? You're such a baby. Not the language you were using. Take off. Y'all didn't date us. I don't know what I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> it might, might not make it to the video. <laughs> it rained all night. Pretty well all night. Tent did fine. You know? So it was one of those situations where you're like, is this where we find out the tent isn't as waterproof as we thought it was? It was kind of foreshadowing. It was. Yep. Supposed to be raining right now, but it is not. Yeah, the forecast, like Garmin forecast, says 80% chance starting at 8 a.m. Five after eight. Still some sunshine. It looks like there's rain coming. Which is fine. Yeah, we'll be. Maybe we'll put the tarp up. Um, the other tarp up over the tent so we have some dry entry. Yeah, I'm not gonna be going in the tent. You know what? Fuck it. Move. Here goes our PG rating. Our general rating. Yeah, we're PG now. So this this is the best. Sitting here drinking coffee with whitener in it. Whitener coffee in the morning is like yeah, that's why we do it. <laughs> for this 15 minutes. There's no reason to come out here. And there's like nobody around. We haven't seen anybody in like eight weeks. Eight weeks. And even then we just saw people. In passing. In passing. You know? We haven't talked to them on the solar for, for days. Yeah. But I'm just very grateful. I think we're grateful. Very grateful. We can afford, we can afford the gear. We can afford the flight. Yep. Yep. You know? As artists. Somebody to do the security for the night. <laughs> you said that so begrudgingly. Uh, somebody to do this man. Solo paddling is really hard. <laughs> no, I would never want to do it by myself. Mm, far too lo long with your brain by yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't know how those boys do it. Yeah. Not even I do not know what, want to know what my brain says most mm -hmm. of the time. Love to bring you all out here with us. Yeah. Sh and just be able to show you. Take a picture in the rain when it comes. So it's Thursday afternoon. It's 
been a spectacular day. We got up this morning, had tea and coffee over here. Um, realized that we still have a ton of propane left. We were a little worried about that. And we're still actually on the first propane tank. So then we had Bannock, which was probably one of my favorite things to have for breakfast, especially while we're out camping. Turned into delicious goodness. Uh, I had a nap and Paul read his book for a little while. We got up and went for a swim. So we had a couple of laps over there and back. And then we got brave, put on our big boy pants and we swam across to the island and uh, checked out the island, climbed all the way up. Paul walked all the way down to about that. And then there was no, it's supposed to be a campsite over there, but there we couldn't find anything. So we, maybe the map was wrong, um, but did a little bit of an explore and then jumped back in and swam back. Leo did not seem to miss us at all because he's that just that kind of loyal dog. Anyway, and uh, now we are having snacks in the tent again because Leo is done with the bugs. So much for the rain. It hasn't rained a drop. It's been like this. There's been thunder over there intermittently all throughout the day, but it's just slowly moving further and further away. It's a little bit windy, but I think that doesn't dry off a bathing suit real quick. So yeah, that was our adventure for the day. We'll probably see you tonight after dinner. Don't know what we're eating. Night. Well, we're sitting in the tarp. Yep. Lower the end because we got some weather coming. Uh, it's been some definitely a thunderstorm coming. So we've lowered the end. Uh, Batten the hatches. Yeah. <laughs> Put our exposure down a little bit and uh, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Well, there ain't hit. Yeah, it is coming down. It's been dry, so... So post, it rained. <laughs> Battery died. <laughs> it, was, it was intense. We didn't, we stayed dry in the tarp. We lowered the sand and we tied it all down low to make sure that we'd stay uh, dry. And we did. Yep. And I don't know if you can see Leo in there. He hasn't moved. He didn't move at all <laughs> during that rain. You know? Let me check the forecast and it's just like this. Yeah, it was like, it was like beaten down. You couldn't even think, you know? But it was like super cool. Like it's, that's one of the, the beauties about being out here is that that's one of the things you have to contend with, right? Same thing is you get the, Right equipment. Looks like we're going to get some more, but it doesn't have that same stormy look to it, eh? Like, it's just hard to believe it. But and so much blue sky. Yeah, 20 minutes ago we were just getting pissed well, off. Well, you can see the line there. I don't know yeah. if you can see that, if you can picture that. Yeah, you know? We just got pissed on and stuff. Just like that. Tarps, the good. The bug tent's been good. Like, the screen keeps the... Should I look at the camera? The screen keeps the rain and you know off of it right so it yeah wind down. and so it, wind and rain it kind of breaks it yeah it was actually working really well already so far so good we got more weather coming in wind picked up we batten down the hatches again see what we're seeing it's just been so funny because it's been like rain Sun and uh, more rain. 
Okay, I'm going in the tarp. Hey, cooking poutine in the tent. So I'm gonna get some gravy going. No, I'm just do this. Get some gravy. Shout out cooking. to Ash for the gravy. Cooking tent here. Some gravy going. We got the rain. I don't know what it looks like. It looked like it was coming in bad again, so that's why we decided to do this. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And we got the hash browns fried, and we're doing some Epicure vegetarian gravy. It smells delicious. This this is our first time doing this, but I think this is uh, moving up the list and one of the favorite meals. Let's take that bit. Okay, gravy's done. Gotta go. Ain't the prettiest, but this is delicious. Absolutely. Don't turn your face. You gotta turn your face. And uh, that's it. Seems like it for the rain. Maybe we'll get a little more, but yeah, weather's certainly changed. Crazy day. And again, that weird low-lying cloud over yeah. there. Let me show them. Hold on. Okay. That's pretty. I just finished fishing. Got a nice pike. Really should video fishing. Look at this thing on here. Is it the mist? That's really cool. Or it's, you know, crude poison and we're all heated. Friday morning and it's stopped raining overnight but everything's still pretty wet but it is a lovely morning this morning it said that it was supposed to be overcast but clearly it is not <coughs> it is about 7 30 in the morning we both woke up early this morning and we decided we were looking for a bit of sunshine to sit in so there's some sunshine right down here by the water so we're gonna have our tea and coffee right here on the water's edge so morning love morning Just making breakfast, coffee, tea, got some milk and granola, blue, granola and milk and berries. berries, rehydrating for that, mm -hmm. and then we're going to move on to Liano. Liano. Liano Lake for our last day tomorrow. Ah. She can have a bath. Yeah, shower. <laughs> we'll go to Ant well, we'll order Anton's for dinner to eat in the hotel. That'll be good. Looking forward to that. And we're off for day seven. Heading over to uh, Liano Lake. Everything packed well today. Too well. Are we going along the shore? Or are we going across here? We're going to, we're going to that point. I'd rather run the shore.
two sleeping pads. Got the tent, body, three pieces of tent. I stuffed them myself. And the uh, two chairs. Two bags of clothes and the jewelry stuff. Towels, gloves, the axes in there, holes are in there. Must be okay. There's nothing at this site. No. Supposed to be a site on this island over here, but we swam over to it yesterday, and I walked halfway up it from the top, and I saw nothing. Well, you can tell, especially sites because they get walked so much. And I thought maybe there'd be an interior site on it, but. Can't even find it. We went all the way around the island now. And I don't see a way up. Like an easy way up that you don't want to take your packs and stuff. Or a place to put your canoe. Yeah. Who knows? Just point it out. Point it at me for now. Uh, here we are on our final lake, Leano, on the edge of Woodland Caribou Provincial Park. Day seven, we leave tomorrow. The van picks us up at two o'clock. And uh, man, we're just enjoying this. Come your way, uh, facing you. That was uh, an interesting portage. We were expecting it to be well traveled, which I think it probably was. But roots and rocks, baby. It was roots and rocks. Roots and rocks. <laughs> yeah. So, That's... still very pretty. Pretty technically difficult. Oh yeah. I it took a little longer, longer than I thought it might. I stubbed my toe. So I gotta get, deal with that. Hopefully I can get a spin shoe on when we get home. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come yeah, because I can pull this along pretty good, hey? Yeah, you can steer like I can, though, right? Like, right, I like... can make the boat dance, right? From back there. Jimmy Two-Shoes. <laughs> 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 yep, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking right, Sam. Just waiting for you to use the C word. <laughs> No, you've never, I've never heard you say that word. I thought maybe you'd fart too. I am a little worried about farting today. You gonna poop yourself? Oh, lad glitter. This is very pretty. This is very pretty. We're never gonna see wildlife. Now we're too loud. Now that looks like an obstruction. Yeah, that is a beaver dam. I ever saw one. It's a, ooh, it's an up to damn. Literally. Okay, what do you want me to do? Just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, you uh, might turn a little here no. too. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get the dam we're gonna get the lodge here too. It's a huge lodge just to the left. Oh the lake is so close. We get so far. Is this one, do we have to unload or can we? Yeah, what do you yeah. think? What's your, I think we're going to have to pull I the big stuff out. I think we might have out. to unload, but we'll see. That's what it looks like. We've done down before. Mm -hmm. oh, this is so cool. Look at how close we are to this thing. Okay, stop paddling.
rock to the left from what I can see. Okay. Okay. Paddle again. I'm getting out. I'd okay. like to get out first. Yeah, this one's good. I just wanted to hold it a little bit better. No, I don't think it's out back here. Sorry. <laughs> Lay down, buddy. Your, your video quality is just <laughs> shit. Okay, you got the boat? Not a good answer. God, the camera is not there. Walk 
do this one. Let's see. What do you want for me? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's any better left or right, eh? What? Okay, there's okay, so there's where are we here? Okay, we're they're all south, so we have to turn right. Right? Yeah, we don't want to be right on the boat, right? No, okay. Either way? Okay. South. So let's go south. South? And there's four down there. Alright. Four fish over. So we're on Liano and we have a huge sight. It's very pretty. Goes, we're, we're tented way over there. We're on an island. This is your walk around? This is not my walk around. This is just a quick panoramic. Leo is much happier because there's a lot of ground for him to fuddle about on yeah here we are this is gonna be the last 24 hours we're gonna spend it probably swimming and not doing much else i think so yeah here we are so here we are in the bug tent again 0% chance rain and it was a pretty decent rain that's okay we're making chili and spaghetti because we didn't agree on what we wanted to eat for dinner tonight so we're having both Leo is sleeping as per the norm and we're pretty much done for the evening we had a nice swim I had a nice adventure I think that was a good day We'll probably see you just before bed. Otherwise, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. He's very handsome. He's very handsome. Too. But it, it's cold, right? He's yeah. The water. I think so. I think so. I think and he's so. the color of the forest floor, right? Yeah. The toads, so. <laughs> I got that. He laughed too, on record. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy, you had to tolerate that. She's leeches. These are like leopards. I don't know if I can.
Just had to video this. Of course, the wind's come up a little bit. But this is dead calm. Like the whole lake is glass. and crocs. So, just went out to sit in the absolute calm weather. I have to record this or I'm going to totally forget, but just remarked how incredibly, insanely calm it is and beautiful. It's like glass, everything's mirrored perfectly. And I looked at Paul and said, I, I don't even think this could get any better. And then I looked over to my left and a rainbow just appeared. It was a rainbow. Right? Like <laughs> on the real full rainbow. You like like, see, like you all the, the colors. You can see the purple. In all the colors. You know? I'm like, what? It was almost ridiculous. Yeah. It was so pretty. We couldn't even go pro because we're like, <laughs> no, we just have to sit here and enjoy it. You know? But it is, this whole lake is calm. It's glass. It's hard to look at because all you see is the sky. It feels like you can walk out onto it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's unbelievable. I've never seen anything this size, this calm. Yeah. It's crazy. It's, everything is quiet. The birds are singing. The only thing irritating is the squirrel that Leo pissed off. <laughs> yeah, she just <laughs> chirps at us constantly. She's just mad. Otherwise, I just, I had to say that. Yep. It was crazy. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> so silly. A rainbow. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> what did you call me the other day? <laughs> you can see the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I never called you nothing. <laughs> you, you said a bad word. <laughs> No. Why would I say that? <laughs> what would ever possess me to say that word? Mm -hmm. That sounds like a go. Yeah, she's been flying around a few. It's been flying around our house for a while. Here's our squirrel buddy. Over there, she knows we're here. Well, our last paddle of the trip. I think you guys can see me okay. Uh, a little bittersweet. A little bittersweet. To totally bittersweet. You know, it's been such a great trip. And what a great final day, like evening and final day. The wind really hasn't come up today at all. Like we just have these little tiny ripples and stuff, right? And it's just, it's just been an incredible trip. So grateful. So grateful that we get to do this, you know. And yeah, this is my my type of holiday for sure. You know. Yeah. Coming your way. It has been truly what I when I think of Canada, this is kind of the epitome of what the world looks like in Canada. Yep. I love it. Yeah, that shieldy Canadian shield, right? Eh? Yep. It is kind of weird, right? And we're paddling back to the portage and then uh, dinner at Anton's. We're in the room, but from Anton's. Can't wait. Here we are. The Lino Liano Lake entrance. Here we are at the Liano Lake entrance <laughs> to Woodland Caribou Park. Uh, this is our terminus of our trip and uh yeah, yeah we made it took two years to do the whole thing but we did it yeah Woo! Woo. go us go ahead so here we are on our way home just leaving red lake uh head towards vermilion bay we kind of figured we were done with the gopro 
crowing, but we had a eventful, exhausting uh, stay at the Howie, which I think is kind of funny to remember because it's one of those cases where if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong, it, and it yep. always picks one person, and, and it just runs through the whole. We were the people. Yeah. <laughs> So they give us a new remote. Well, so I went up and asked yeah. her uh, if we could have some new batteries because it didn't look like the remote was working. And she says, "Oh no, I get you. I'll get you. Uh, I'll get you a new remote." And I said, "I don't think we need a new remote. I think we just need new batteries. It's all good." And she said, "Oh no, I don't understand how these batteries, or how these remotes work. So, you know, we'll we'll get you a new remote." And I'm like, "All right." So we went down to the storeroom. She handed us another remote. Um, Paul figured out that the remote. The batteries. The second remote worked. The second remote worked, but the batteries were in backwards. So that. Had it working. And then the channels. We had no channels. No channels. No There's channels. Just some local programming channel. And then yeah. we finally find this the Shaw channel that says, as of June 30. June 30th. 30th uh, this this digital subscription system no longer works. You must replace it with this IPTV stuff. Because they've been using a third party. Yeah, so, whatever. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? So so their subscription is gone. So I go tell her we have got no active channel. She doesn't have a clue what I'm talking about. She says, oh, i got to talk to the kitchen staff. I'll come down and see you. Never did come down. Never, never saw her again. No. no. So we just put YouTube on the TV. That's fine. through my phone. Not, not, not great because it's, you know, through Wi-Fi and their well, Wi-Fi is not strong. Obviously the Wi-Fi would, and then obviously everybody was using it because there's no TV in the place. <laughs> but everybody must have the same complaint because there's no TV in the place. Yeah. Anyway, so then got up this morning. So we were kind of laughing. I'm irritated, but not, I mean, whatever. We'll get over it. I'll get over it. Um, then moved on. Woke up this morning. Paul went down to grab breakfast. Ordered breakfast. Ordered breakfast. Came back. She called us while you were in the bathroom, and I went up to get the, the food. And she said, you ordered, uh, he ordered milk with your chew because I got two teas. I said, oh, perfect, there's milk. I said, did he did he order coffee? And she said, no, he, there's coffee in your room. He didn't order coffee. And I'm like, oh. They have Keurig in the room. Yeah. I that's said, all no, I that, wanted. I wanted strange. fresh brewed coffee from a pot with real cream. Yeah. So I so I walked back home. Like I said, can I, like, 
That's weird. Can you give me some cream just in case he wants some cream? She looks at me really strange. She says, well, but you have cream. And I said, well, I did looked in all the drawers. I didn't see any cream. So she gave me what I thought was maybe whitener. So I was really confused that Paul hadn't ordered coffee, but whatever. Walk back to the room. Yeah, it turns out that uh, they gave us cream, no milk, and Paul had to make his own, and no uh, syrup for his pancakes. Yeah, no syrup there. So again, Paul has a second cold meal. Yeah. It was just, it was, it it's was crazy. Shit show. But, you know, yeah. but we're she not was, ready to give up. We're going to email the owners. Yeah, I asked Hopefully for... Hopefully they get a this nice deep discount, Yeah. and we'll come back next year. Otherwise, it's super aid for us. Yeah, we'll try something different. Anyway, that was our last night in Red Lake. Yes. Uh, anyways, it was, I mean, it was a fabulous trip. Oh, we had a great trip. And yeah. even, you know, the hotel stuff is it's insignificant. Funny. We yeah. still got fed. We still took showers. We still had somewhere to sleep last night. Yeah. You know. Everybody was comfortable. We were all dry. Yeah. Yep. And warm. Exactly. Anyway, we will uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording.